Hi, this is Yvonne, and we're out this evening for the Swine and Dine. And the Swine and Dine is where you come out and you visit at local restaurants and bars and you get to uh, sample wonderful drinks that they've made for the occasion and appetizers or hors d'oeuvres, whichever. And tonight I'm here with Joe. Yes, ma'am. How you doing, Joe? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing real good. And we're here at La Fuente in Lebanon and uh, on Main Street. Yes, ma'am. And uh, we're going to sample your drink and your hors d'oeuvres this evening. Tell us a little bit about that drink. Okay, the drink is how it's made out of, it's got vodka. Vodka, okay. It's got cranberry vodka. So two vodkas. Yes, ma'am. Right. It's got uh, rum. Rum, okay. And it's got just a little bit of tequila. And also it's got pineapple juice, cranberry juice, uh -huh. and it's got a chamoy. Uh, chamoy is a Mexican, some kind of Mexican spices sauce. Okay, Mexican spices as uh -huh. well. So you've got a lot of ingredients in this. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now tell me a little bit about how you thought this drink up, I mean with all these different ingredients. I just, I would just pretty much just play with them and uh, uh -huh. just to see what I come out with and uh, turn around to be pretty fair. Pretty, pretty well. Okay, now so you've already tried it? Yes ma'am, it's really good. It's really good, huh? Okay, we're going to try that in just a few minutes. Now tell me about the appetizer that you made. Okay, the appetizer we fix uh, like Mexican barbecue. Mm -hmm. That's made out of like, it's got like shredded chicken on it. Uh -huh. With uh, the with the barbecue is made out of homemade, made out by my hands. By your hands? Yes ma'am, we made out of, uh, okay. yes, uh, we made it with chocolate. Uh -huh. It's got flour on it. It's got milk and just a little bit of spices. <laughs> so kind of like a, okay. just kind of like Mexican uh, Mexican gravy. Okay. Uh, now wait a minute. You said first of all it's barbecue, and now you're saying there's chocolate in it. Yes, ma'am. So you put chocolate in your barbecue. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now whose whose idea was this? Did you think? I this guess went up my to? I guess my grandma's. Your grandmother <laughs> did. Okay. It's her recipe. Yeah, kind of. All right, you kind of borrowed some. I copied her, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, now how long How long did it take you to put all this together for this? Uh, I'd like on the appetizer, it take me uh, about, about an hour. Okay, about an hour. And then the that. drink, it take me, it take me a good couple of days to put it together. Okay, now give me a name for that drink. Uh, the name of the drink, and in Mexico, they call it... Uh, SpongeBob, but a we're gonna ball. call it a piggy bob here. A, a piggy ball. Yeah. Oh, okay. And for the appetizer, what are you gonna call it? Uh, I'd say we're just gonna call it a, a Mexican barbecue, as you call. Mexican barbecue sounds good to me. You try okay. it out. Let me know. All right, we're gonna try it out. Thank you. This is Yvonne, and I'm here with Angela, and we are trying the. Uh, the drink, our special drink this evening, was the sponge ball, but now it's the pork ball or the pig ball, one of the two for ham days. One of the two. Okay. Now, Angela, I know that um, you have a little experience doing this <laughs> as a taste tester. <laughs> and I so, love doing this. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, first of all, about the flavor. Um, it tastes like a tropical, um, kind of like one of those mixed fruity drinks uh -huh. and then at the end it has a spicy bite yeah but it plays off of the chocolate, the barbecue. chocolate barbecue i think you got to have them both together and it the flavors combined is really good <laughs> yeah it's it's good together now i'm going to ask you one last question about that drink if you came out to a restaurant one evening or this restaurant for dinner would you order that drink yes i would with that appetizer together it's got a pound it's different okay. yeah so on a scale of one to ten you gave this a ten didn't you yeah i would i would give this it's an acquired taste, acquired taste. okay so i would give this probably between an eight and a ten okay if you yeah. like hispanic uh -huh. mexican food uh -huh. you'd probably give it a ten if you're trying it for the first time it might you might give it an eight uh -huh. okay. well fantastic then well bon appetit thank you let's get to it This is Yvonne, and we're at Chasers, and I'm here with Raymond. How you doing, Raymond? All right. Okay, uh, we're, we're doing swine and dine this evening, so we're looking for an appetizer or, uh, or hors d'oeuvres and a drink. Now, tell us a little bit about the drink that you have this evening. Uh, well, i got to get Amy to tell you about that. She, she's the bartender, and she does the drinks. What's the name of the drink? Uh, apple sangria. Apple sangria. 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 Okay. All right. Amy's going to come over for just one second. Come on over, Amy. 
Hi there, Amy. Tell me a little bit about what's going on in that drink. All right, we've got white Zinfandel, apple pucker, cranberry juice, apple juice, and a splash of Sprite. Okay, now what's apple pucker? It's um, a liqueur, uh -huh. and it's kind of sour, and it's a little sweet. It tastes just like an apple Jolly Rancher. Okay. Now, how'd you think of this? Um, I was just kind of messing around with sangrias this summer a lot, and I wanted something crisp, you know, and that's how I came up with it. Okay, crisp so. and light. Crisp and light. So this ought to be a wonderful drink then to go along with the appetizer. Now, tell me a little bit about the appetizer, right? It's the barbecue pork with chips. You got baked beans. Uh, Pork, uh -huh. barbecue sauce, sour cream, peppers and onions. Uh, I don't want to tell everything. But oh, okay, so there are some secret ingredients. Oh, a couple. <laughs> couple of we secret. might want to put it on the menu. So. Oh, okay. That sounds great. Now, uh, you, so you thought this up yourself, this recipe? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. What is the name of this dish in case I ever want to call it raised barbecue pork with chips? Raised barbecued pork with chips. Okay, that sounds like a really good ham day's name, barbecued pork. Okay, all right, then Rick, we're going to taste this. We're going to give it the old taste test. I have my friend Angela here with me, who is our uh, a professional taste tester now, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's going to taste the drink and she's going to taste the appetizers, and we're going to see just how good these are. Okay. Well, thank I you. Think, so I think they'll be good. All right. Well, thanks for looking look for the trophy again this year. For the trophy, huh? okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, now you talk about the trophy, but you have won before. Yeah, 2011. Yeah. 2011. You were the winner. Yeah. And now, what did you win with that night? What was potato what was, skins? Potato skins. Yeah. Okay. Now, what was different about these potato skins that made them winners? Well, the potato skins didn't have no uh, beans in it. Okay. So, okay. Know. Potato skins without but, beans. Uh, okay. Other things too, but. Okay. Now, what was the drink that year? Um, I don't know. Okay, but it was a good one. Oh, yeah. It had to be good in order for you to win, right? Oh, well, yeah. Goes without saying. Okay, we're going to go ahead and try this one here, and uh, we'll get back with you, okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm with Angela here, our official taste tester. And, Angela, we have a drink here that has apple pucker in it. I'm ready. You're ready for Yeah, I, it just feels like that I'm going to have something sour, but something crisp. Ready for ham days. Okay. Now, the uh, appetizer here has pork, and we can see the cheese on here. And, he, and I think Ray said there were some, some beans in here, too, as, as well. And some secret ingredients. And some secret ingredients that he yeah. wasn't going to tell us he about. He share that. Yes, right. Well, you know what? If we give him a couple of these pucker drinks, do you think we could get that <laughs> secret ingredient out of him? Probably <laughs> <Yeah>. right. <laughs> okay, what do you want to try first? Um, let's try the appetizer. Okay. Okay, we're gonna break that chip, and Angela's gonna dig in there and get that. Oh, it looks good, Angela. Yes, it does. Good and stringy. Yes. If it tastes as good as it looks, Ray has done a good job. Mmm. That's good. It tastes like a barbecue, like a pulled pork barbecue with cheese. I do taste the beans. It's a good combination. And the chips, does that help it out? The chips are good, but I think I prefer this. Just I could take a spoon and eat straight out of the bowl. It's that good. <laughs> Let me try this drink. Okay, let's wash a little of that down with our pucker drink here. Our apple pucker. Sangria. Well, that is good. Is it? It's good. I thought it would be sour because she mentioned all the apple in it, but it's really, it's mild, doesn't have a bite to it. It's really, it's a good drink. Did she say it was, other than Sprite, what else was in this? Sprite and apple pucker. The liquor is... White Zinfandel. White Zinfandel, so there's one. Because it's sangria. Okay, it makes the sangria. Yeah. Well, Angie, <laughs> Angie keeps going back for more here. <laughs> um, with the barbecue, it's just the two complement each other very well. Okay. It's a good, it's a good combination. Okay, now if you were going to come here for dinner, Angela, would you order this drink? I'd order the drink as a an appetizer before a meal. Uh huh. I wouldn't have it with the meal. It's just a great or after my meal. Uh -huh. It's really good. And I would definitely do the appetizer. It's really good. Really good. Really, really good. Oh, don't say that too loud. Ray's over there listening. Oh, no, no. It's really good. We don't want to swell his head up. Huh? <laughs>
after having one already yeah, before. It is good. Oh, oh, that's right. Yes, indeed. It is good. It is okay. good. Okay. So for all those people watching out there, Angela really liked this really one here. Like it. Yeah, we're at Chasers and um, Ray is over there watching us to make sure that we get all of our lines straight here. Yeah, but but yeah, we have to hand it to him. Absolutely. He did a great job on this. Absolutely. Okay. Good job. All right. Well, let's finish this off, girl. All right. All right.